It's fresh. It's credible. It's information, news, sports, and entertainment from and about the North Coast parishes of St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. Now for the news. Good day. The news is brought to you by the North Coast Times. First, the headlines. Taki High creates cricketing history. NWC steps up water trucking after Brownstown fiery protest. Man charged in Apple murder incident. Basic school gets attention from Canadian High Commission and Sandals. It's lights, camera, football at Carter Park. Ocherius High maintain unbeaten Headley Cup run. I am Rowena Newman Ridley. And now the details. We begin with a cricketing story. Tacky High School of Gale St. Mary has created history. They bowled out Tatius Golding High of St. Catherine for the improbable total of four runs. No other school has ever made such a low total. Tacky High beat Tatius Golding by 299 runs. Taki batted first and made 303 for one wicket declared. Tatius Golding collapsed under high-quality Taki bowling. Sports enthusiasts are still trying to determine if Taki's route of Tatius Golding caused the lowest cricket score ever. The National Water Commission says it will continue trucking water to Brownstone and surrounding communities following protests over the lack of the commodity Monday, February 19. Residents blocked the roads, in some cases with burning debris leading into and out of Brownstone from as early as 3.30 Monday morning. They used old tires and other implements to comprehensively block roads leading in and out of Brownstown. For nearly two weeks, businesses and homes in Brownstown and several surrounding communities were out of water. That triggered the protest. The National Water Commission said it has been providing trucked water and will increase trucking. The old well at Menard is expected to be back in operation in about three weeks and a new well will add to the supply in about four to six months. A man has been arrested and charged for the murder and shooting death of another man in following an argument over apples in St. Mary. Charged is 36-year-old Rayon McNeish otherwise called Roger Blacks, a higgler of Belfield Penn in St. Mary. McNeish is charged in relation to the murder of 22-year-old Rayon Prendergast and the injuring of another man. Reports are that on February 8, Prendergast and another man went to a property in Belfield Penn to pick apples. Upon leaving, they were confronted by McNeish. It is alleged that following a dispute, McNeish pulled a firearm and opened fire, hitting Prendergast while the other man escaped. Police went to McNeish's house and seized the firearm and ammunition. They charged him with murder and several firearm-related charges. We will be right back after this short break. Fitzroy Grocery and Wholesale in the center of Discovery Bay is open every day between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Customers from communities such as Old Folly, Queen Height, Farmtown, Tickets, Helicon, Lakeside Park, Hopewell Park, Corner Street, Gaza, Benga find it convenient to shop at Fitzroy's. And those passing on the highway in Discovery Bay know that the service is quick and easy to access. For more than 20 years, this family business has been serving families and business in and around Discovery Bay. Drop in and you will find the same courteous and fast service. Call us at 876-670-356. Fitzroy Grocery and Wholesale. Thank you. 
Welcome back. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and share the news with your friends interested in the North Coast parishes. A St. Anne man has been charged with breaking into three businesses on Main Street, Ocho Rios. Charged is 53-year-old O'Neill Graham of Buckfield, Ocho Rios. Police say in a two-week period between February 24 and between January 22 and February 4, Graham broke into the three stores and stole items valued at more than $430,000. Graham is, was held when he smashed a window and entered a store in the wee hours of the morning. He stole hedge trimmers valued at over $130,000. While in custody, he was charged with two other break-ins, also on Main Street. CCTV footage from the stores led to the additional charges. Please go to the North Coast Times Facebook page and or go directly to the website northcoasttimesja.com to get the perspectives on most of the candidates of the local government elections in St. Anne. Portland's premier football venue now has lights and will be able that will enable evening and night matches. The lights were turned on on Saturday evening, February 17, in a ceremony involving members of Parliament Daryl and Admarie Vaz. Also involved were Raymond Grant of Por the Portland FA president, officials of the Portland Municipal Corporation, including the chairman and mayor of Port Antonio. Paul Thompson. Fencing of the grounds, works supporting structures, and the lights had an estimated cost of $165 million. The Chase Fund donated $29 million. Other contributions came from private businesses and individuals. The Portland Municipal Corporation donated $3 million, and the Action and Foundation of MP Anne Marie Vaz contributed $15 million. Clapham Basic School in St. Anne received a well-needed facelift and critical supplies necessary to enable the administrators to serve the institution's 29 students. There are three staff members and one volunteer. The engagement involved the Early Childhood Commission, the, the ECC, the Sandals Foundation, the Canadian High Commissioner to Jamaica, Amina Todakovich, and the crew of the Canadian sea vessel HMCS Margaret Brook. The work at the school on Sunday, February 18, included painting and addressing aesthetics that will help Clapham Basic School meet the certification requirements of the ECC. As part of their welfare and communion, community outreach program, the United Friends of Highgate gifted Pringles Home for Girls with food items, clothing, games and books for the wards at a cost of three thousand us dollars or the equivalent of four hundred and fifty thousand jamaican dollars pringles in saint mary in highgate is the only girls home in the parish superintendent in charge of the home jeanette rose bryan said the items were welcomed gifts for the 25 girls the United Friends of Highgate has been one of their main sponsors, supplying basic need items for the girls who are 8 and up to 18 years old. We will be right back after this short break. Cool Oasis service stations are the fastest, coolest service stations around. Drive through and buy your phone cards from Cool Biz. Yes, it's easy. No paper, no pin. From the fastest, coolest service stations. Quality fuels, lubricants, and refreshments at the lowest prices. The cleanest restrooms and the smoothest service to make your drive even cooler. 
from the fastest, cooler service stations. Get cool service and cool stuff fast at Cool Oasis Service Stations Island Wide. If you want great Jamaican cuisine in a relaxed atmosphere by the sea, Roxborough Restaurant, Bar and Grill is the place to be. This cozy, private restaurant specialized in seafood plus Jamaican dishes including curry goat, fried and baked chicken. We are open for breakfast at 8 a.m. and serve meals through the day until 10 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays. On Fridays to Sundays, we are open at 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Our bar service has got rave reviews. Come experience top-class service and find Jamaican meals. We are easy to reach at St. Anne's Bay next to the Island Traffic Authority. Call us at 876562675 or 5367950. Continuing with sports now. Ocho Reyes High maintained their unbeaten record in this year's Grace Headley Cup cricket with a draw against Cornwall College Zone C leaders. In the match played at Cornwall College on Monday, February 19, the St. James team had the upper hand when bad light stopped play. Cornwall made 300 of for eight declared and Ocherius were 83 for four when stumps were drawn. Ocherius High remain second in the zone. Buff Bay United are the new champions of the sandals and costly construction-sponsored St. Mary Big Bash T20 Cricket Tournament. They defeated defending champions Gale by four wickets in the pulsating finals at Mango Valley Oval in the parish on Sunday, February 18. Highgate placed third by defeating Boscobel in the opening playoff match. Full details on this match are available on the North Coast Times website. The, web the website has several of the stories featured in this newscast. Remember, the Times is also on TikTok and Instagram. You may reach us by email at editorial at northcoasttimesja or at WhatsApp 503-9995. Thank you for watching. I am Rowena Newman Ridley. That's the news from the North Coast Times. You can always find more news and features on the North Coast Times website and Facebook page. You may reach us at WhatsApp 876-503-9995. The North Coast Times News.